got my duck tails coming off. At least that's what my wife calls it anyway. But that's okay because we're going to be working on a duck blind build today on the fast craft boat. If you didn't see the walkthrough, make sure you go back and watch that video. Tell you a little bit about it. It's a pretty cool company. They're still in business too. So if you want to hit them up, you can find them on Facebook at Fast Craft Boats LLC. Um, you can get in contact. Super nice guy. Um, they build all these boats by hand. So we're going to be jumping in, um, building this duck blind uh, or the frame for it anyway. So um, hopefully you guys stay tuned and I'll take you through the process as best as I can. Hey right, y'all, welcome to my F-150 workbench here. <laughs> um, I'm going to be showing y'all an overview of all the stuff I've got to build this duck blind and hopefully I've got everything I need. I've got EMT um, metallic conduit, rigid conduit. I've got five pieces of half inch and I've got one piece of three quarter inch. So six total pieces. Um, I've got my trusty little Sawzall and drill, a tape measure. I got some uh, extra silicone in case I needed it. I just had that laying around. Didn't know if I'd need it or not. Drill bits, screws. Then I've got a uh, three quarter inch pipe, pipe strap. And um, you'll see what I'll do with that in a second. Hopefully that'll work out good. I've got four 90s because I don't have a pipe bender and I did not feel like spending the money on one. So I just went with 90s. I got four of these wire lock pins here, or two of these wire lock pins, excuse me. Um, and I'm going to use those to actually hold my X cross brace in place for the blind. I've got these bolts and wing nuts um, so I can... Uh, loosen it, remove it, take it apart, whatever I need to do. Hopefully that'll work out well. And I also picked up a pack of set screw um, couplings. So I didn't, I wasn't sure if I needed them, but I wanted to have them just in case. So hopefully that's everything I need to get the frame on this duck blind built. All right guys, so we're gonna get started with this three quarter inch conduit here. It's 10 feet long, but I don't need all of that. So what you may have seen on other uh, especially like John boat designs is that people would take a C clamp and they would clamp it on the side of their boat here and they would drill it out and bolt it together or whatever so they could remove their duck blind. Well the problem I'm having is that I don't have um, a good sidewall for clamping on this fast craft boat. So my idea is I'm going to take some pipe strap and put it here on either side and I'm going to run my um, base bar, my cross brace, for the blind across here across the top and then I'm going to spray that black and it honestly it may just stay there all the time because it's pretty well out of the way and we'll be back here as well um, and I'll be able to um, pretty much use my boat uh, without a problem the back one may get in the way a little bit but I think we'll be all right so that's my idea so I'm going to get some measurements across here across the back for the cross brace and get to cutting the conduit um, I've got these clamps and my cross braces set on the back and on the front and the way I'm going to build this it shouldn't interfere too much with my motor and everything once I get that installed um, but what I'm going to do now I did notice one problem with this design is that these clamps aren't quite tight enough to hold it in place which can be fixed with like a set screw or a pin or something like that it's not a big deal but the nice thing is, is I'm actually able to slide these out and drill my holes for my, um, I guess, scissor arms, you could call them, on the blind. And uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for that. On the F-150 workbench, I'm going to take my measuring tape and I'm going to measure. I know that this rod is 42 inches long on the back, so I'm going to measure to the halfway point, And then from there, I'm going to center out probably six inches and then mark for my holes to be drilled. Um, I'm gonna split the middle with a six inch section that will allow me to attach my uprights coming up off of either side for my duck blind. And then we'll just need a little support arm that can be removed on either side.
here you can see I've got a 42 inch pipe half of 42 is 21 so I put a mark right at 21 inches there and then I went ahead and decided to make it a 7 inch um, base so I went three and a half which puts me at 17 and a half inches from one end and then I went another three and a half which puts me 24 and a half so we're going to drill a hole at 24 and a half and 17 and a half so I've got my holes drilled I got my cross braces installed again on the front and the back and I sat down in the seat and I was trying to decide how high I wanted my sidewalls so I decided to go with um, a 36 inch sidewall that will pivot instead of doing an X style pivot this way and crossing each other I decided to go um, with just a single pivot out of either side and uh, then it'll just lay down off the side of the boat like that um, it'll make more sense once I get it all together All four pieces of my uprights cut I'm just going to measure in from the end an inch and drill a hole so that I can run my bolts uh, through my holes on my cross beams all right so we got all that assembled and this is the idea that I'm going for you'll see it's just going to pivot at these two points here and go out to make a simple duck blind and the nice thing is It'll lay flat when I'm moving, and I even still have enough room to utilize my cleat over here. So that worked out perfect. Alright guys, so you can see I've got the basic frame set up. And it's going to fold up this way. And I'm going to put two braces right here in this corner to hold it upright with carter pins. So I thought I had enough stuff, but I'm actually going to have to get two more uh, sorry, wire loop pins. I'm going to have to get two more wire loop pins and a couple more elbows, 90s, because I'm actually going to do a roof off of this thing uh, that'll stick out about 30 inches or so that should flip back um, if you have to stand up to shoot or anything like that. So I'll be checking in here in a few minutes. I've got to run to the store. Guys, so this is pretty much the completed blind. Um, I forgot to update, I got caught up in the project, but I bought these um, piece, this four foot piece of plain steel, one inch thick, and I just drilled three holes in each end um, so I could adjust the, the sides of the blind, the height that it sits. And I made three holes on each side so I could adjust it either way. Um, and it's working really good as far as um, holding the sides and it's, it's solid, it's not going anywhere. Also with this crossbar, um, the base here, where it was sliding back and forth inside the pipe strap, I just drilled an extra hole, put a screw in that, and it locked it down. It's not going anywhere. Um, I also made this roof right here for the blind, and uh, it flips all the way back up out of the way. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to hold my phone and film, but it flips all the way back up if you want to stand up and shoot or whatever. 
Um, and right now I've just got it rigged up with paracord and it's probably not going to stay that way. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to create a stop for the roof. So if you have any good ideas, um, just drop it in the comments below. Let me know. But this is how I built a blind for a boat that's not a, a typical John boat. Um, there's about a million videos for John boats. But I had to adjust my plan a little bit. And so hopefully some of y'all found it helpful. And like I say, the motor kit uh, will be coming in soon and we'll get that installed and we will be good to go. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, hopefully you found something helpful in there. Um, like I said earlier, it's not your typical John boat with clamps or, or the many different ways you can make a scissoring blind like that. So hopefully you found that helpful if you don't have a typical John boat. Um, I've made that blind for, I think the total, including tax in South Carolina, was $98.55. So if you go to Cabela's and you buy um, a prefab boat blind like that, just the frame, I believe it's running somewhere around $300, give or take. It might be $350, I don't really remember. Um, but I built that for $100 bucks and just about four to five hours. So it wasn't a whole lot of work. It was really easy to do. And it's very budget friendly um, and you could have gotten out even a little cheaper I just decided I wanted that roof so from here I'm just going to be figuring out how I want to how I want to stop that roof um, without using the paracord but if you guys have a good idea drop it in the comments let me know hopefully we're here to help one another and um, if you like what you see so far on the channel I hope you hit the subscribe button I'm gonna try to get content out uh, somewhat regularly, but I do work a lot and I try to hunt and fish in the middle of that. So We'll see how this goes. It's a new adventure for me, but thanks for watching like Comment subscribe share do all the stuff and hopefully I will see you soon on Carolina backwoods mm -hmm.